Hello, my wonderful boosters. Today we will be learning about sound waves and what they are, like frequencies, um, wavelengths, and amplitude. We're also going to be painting our sound waves like this. Let's get started. For this art project, you will be needing watercolors, paintbrushes, paper, ruler, and black marker. Start by painting some water onto your paper. Be careful not to put too much water or your paper will be become soggy. Now add little blobs of your three favorite colors. I'm doing red, blue, and orange. Adding colors until you fill your whole page. It should be looking like this at the end. While your painting is drying, you can record your voice memo. You can play your favorite song, you can sing your favorite song, or you can just say something. Then you can play your voice memo, and then you can paint it. I'm going to be playing my favorite song, Shake It Off. Now copy your sound waves onto your painting using a black marker and ruler. Make sure your paper is completely dry before you start. Did you know that sound is actually created by small vibrations in the air, which are called sound waves? When these vibrations move our eardrums, our ears send a signal to our brain that tell us what we are hearing. painting it should be looking like this the black lines it doesn't have to look exactly the same now i'm going to teach you the three most important things you need to know frequencies wavelength and amplitude amplitude is how much the movement the sound makes the louder the sound the higher the amplitude so if you see here, the big lines show how high the amplitude is. Wavelengths is how long the waves are. The shorter the waves, the higher the sound. Frequencies are how many waves they are in a second. More waves means the sound is higher like this. Ah. That's it for today. Now remember the three things we learned frequencies, wavelengths, and amplitudes. I hope you had fun learning. Please subscribe to my channel and click the thumbs up button. Bye everyone!